Mr. Ed here. It's today is June 22nd, 2023. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I'm here at the honey house and look what look what we got right here. This this is just amazing. You know, I, I set I set traps out here at the honey house every year. I set traps out here. And, and when you get a situation like this, where the bees decide to move into underneath the trap instead of inside of the trap, it's just like, why do they do that? I, I, I don't have an explanation to why they do it, other than the queen went underneath there, the bees went under there with her, and she didn't want to go in the box, so they said, well, let's just build our hive right here. Now, these bees have been here for three weeks, because it's been three weeks since I've come out here last. I came out here yesterday, and I saw this, and I, I don't want this hive to get so large underneath here that, that I would have to do a really, really removal at that point. So I decided to come out this morning and go ahead and take care of it. I'm going to move the camera to show you just how large this swarm is. And I know there's comb underneath here, but uh, how much comb, I, I don't know. But by the grace of God, these bees right here, I'm going to vacuum up in the Everything Bee Vac, and I'm going to move them up to the Abbey, and we're going to take care of them up there. So let's wrangle these bees out of this spot and move them up to the Abbey. All right, let's do a little panoramic view of this swarm. So I know there's got to be comb underneath this. But look at all the bees in here. That is a lot of bees. Now we gotta go around the back. And look on, on this side. Golly. Now when I came out here yesterday, there weren't this many out here. So I guess a lot of the foraging bees have come back and now they're here. But as it's early in the morning, I suppose that's the reason why there's more bees now. Now I'm gonna just get the, the vac started up and start vacuuming. Now I am gonna put on my, my suit because I don't, I don't really trust these girls, see what's gonna happen. So let's uh, start removing some of these bees, finding out how much comb they've built in the time they've been here. You know what? Let's do some really close-up video on vacuuming these bees because they're really festooning. They're sticking together right. really close. So we're going to do some really close-up video.
I, I'm just like shocked. I, I really thought this hive had been here for a several days, several weeks, but I, I'm thinking <laughs> the only little bit of comb is these two little pieces right here. So these these bees have been here for more than a day. In fact, like I observed from yesterday, the amount of bees that I saw yesterday and today, they may have just finally moved all of them have finished coming here today so I mean this is a huge huge swarm and I only see the, see the two or three pieces of comb right here and I'm gonna vacuum a little bit more careful right here because see if our queen may be running around on that comb so let's find out if our queen is is on the comb There she is, look at her, right there. See her? Can you believe that? Where is she? Right here. There's our queen right there. So, let me vacuum some of these bees off of, off of around it. Can you see her? She's right there, Julio. Oh yeah, she's big. ahead and grab her so I can get these bees out of here. you Jesus man can you believe we got the queen out of all these bees unbelievable all right let's finish back in a month I cannot get over how easy that was because I, I was fully expecting to see eight ten pieces of comb underneath there and so very very good I, I've got almost every one of these bees vacuumed up I left this one little piece of comb here there are only two pieces I left that one right now just so that any of these bees that I didn't get, they'll come and land on it. I see one of them is trying to get some of the nectar they put in there out. I'm, I'm gonna get these things, uh, vacuum these bees out of here in just a few more minutes, probably about five or 10 minutes, and then head up to the Abbey. So let's go up to the Abbey and show you what I'm gonna do with these, with this swarm up there. See y'all up at the Abbey. Everything is all set up now, and because that was all that I took out of that, that swarm. Uh, I didn't even want to go ahead and, and put that in, in the cone, uh, frame that up. Uh, it's just, there was absolutely nothing in it other than, well, let me show you, there's some pollen in there. Uh, so they get some pollen stores. And on this one, I actually saw uh, there's two or three cells with nectar in it. So, there really, there really isn't any any value in this. I mean, there's wax, there's value in it. But what I've given them instead of that, it, it definitely is a more help to them than that would have been. And what I've done was, well, I caged up my queen and framed her up, and I put her in the middle on the on the bottom. I like putting her on the bottom 
and for that, that reason, the bees will then go down into the bottom of the box. And on, on this, this particular box, the opening is right in the center. So what I've done is I've placed four frames on either side of her, and they alternate with just drawn comb, some honey, drawn comb, and more honey. Now I think I'm going to change that up. I think I'm going to put the honey on the outside. I like that better. Give them something to do right away. And then on the opposite side, it's the same thing. A frame of drawn honey. A frame of drawn comb. Another frame of honey. And then another frame of just old fruit drawn comb. So there's our setup right there. And our queen slap dab right in the middle. So that's it. That's our setup. And let's go ahead and turn these bees loose and get them in this box. See how long it takes them to get set up. And I, I love doing that. The first shake, I always use the screen from the back because all the bees have landed on top of it and you get a nice big cluster. Look at that, a nice big cluster of bees. And this this will be the initial shake that goes in there. and. Try not to disturb them too much. And that way we get a our, our good bunch of bees in there right from the very beginning. And with these bees in the in the box, man, there must have, there must have been 20,000 bees in this swarm. I mean, let me show you the bees inside of the bee bag. Look at this. Look how many bees are in there. My goodness, that is a lot. So now, let me just go ahead and pour some of them into the box. Look at that pile of bees. <laughs> because I've got that big opening in the bottom, you saw that it, they all just rolled right into it. Man, they've almost all come out. They really are, they're going down, and look at that, they're just going down inside. Now I'm gonna place my inner cover. Not completely covered, but just a little bit just allow the bees that are in the air to come back down onto it. So let's see how long this is going to take for all this to happen. All right, that's about all I can do for right now. It shouldn't take 10, 15 minutes at the most and they'll all be in there. So I'll come back and show you what that looks like in about 15 minutes. <laughs> you know, you just can't figure bees out, can you? Or at least I can't. So they decided not to stay in the box even though their queen was in there. But because the queen is in there, you, I don't know if you can see the bees up in the air, but they've all pretty much, there's still some in the box, but they've all flown up in the air and acting like a brand new swarm, which they are, but their queen is down here. So hopefully they're gonna calm themselves down can you hear them? Calm themselves down and come on down because their queen is in the box and they should know that. Let's find out how this saga <laughs> turns out. Just to show you, they, they definitely vamoosed, but their queen 
is still in the cage. I still think they're coming back. Now, there is another possibility <laughs> to what's going on here in that there were two queens in that swarm and I just caught one of them. And being that the tree, the bees are almost clustering in the top of that tree, I don't know if the camera is picking that out, but being that they're up there like that, instead of on the ground where the other queen is, I think that might be a chance. So I've used the opportunity of the bees vacating the box, now move it to right there. And there's a lot of bees flying all around it. So hopefully they'll communicate to the other bees. We'll have to wait an hour or two, I think, to find out what the end of this video is going to be like. <laughs> All right, here's another part. Look, look at the swarm. They've moved out of that tree and they've, they're in this part of the yard right now. But I've got bees all over the porch. Look at this. So th it's good. I'm glad that this part broke away because if, our, if we do have a queen in here, well then we can find where this part of the swarm is gonna land and we can capture them as well. They're gonna, these, these bees are gonna land somewhere. Hopefully, where I can get to them. And look at this mess. Lordy, lordy, lordy. These poor bees are so confused right now. I guess I should have moved that. But I can always, I, I'm, there's only one frame of drawn comb in there. Everything else is just foundation. So we'll see what happens. We'll look through this too. Heck, maybe we're gonna find three queens in there. But I'm gonna keep an eye on that swarm that's out in the yard over there. It's it's getting lower, so that's a good thing. It'll it'll, it'll land hopefully. I don't know. It's it's high too. That's, that's a big section of bees over there. If I go, I'm, let me go drop a box over there and see if we can catch them in there. So what I've done is I grabbed a box of old drawn comb, put a couple of shots of swarm wrestler on it. So look, they're right there. Hopefully they're gonna come on down right here. We'll find out. There is a lot of activity on the box, but that you know, swarm right there, it still is attracting bees. Let's go take a look at what's going on in the back porch. And <laughs> You can see, it's not that far away from where I am right now. So it appears that the bees in, that were going to this box have now decided to go back to this box right here, which is good. Splitting that hive, that swarm. All right, we'll check back in a little bit. All right, here you go. Look at this. Look at her butt right there. Look at this. Let's go ahead and put her in the pot in a cage too. I'm holding the, the, trying to hold the camera and do this all at the same time. So let's see if we can get it done. Let's see. All right, there they are. Let's get that clean. I saw her. And let's see. Let's see where is she? I don't know where 
whether they're bombing her or what. Well, she is on the bottom. Let's go ahead and just grab everybody. Alright. Let's see what we look like. Okay. She's in there. But I don't think they're bawling her. I really do. Or maybe not. Who knows? I'm going to set her right down here. Let's see if everybody comes down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. I guess they weren't balling her. They were just trying to protect her. But we ought to have all those bees come on down shortly. set the queen in the cage right here and set it down here for two minutes because I, I forgot to get the stand so I went and got the stand for the camera and look at the bees that have gotten on it. Right, let's let's move some frames and drop her inside of the, the box. Get these bees to get inside of that box. Well, that's it. <laughs> That's a lot of bees in there. Look at that, that's a lot of bees. Put her inside of my box. Alright, that's about all I can do for right now. It's probably about 11.30, so it's time for lunch. Go eat some lunch and get back and see how both of these swarms are handling it. Things have greatly calmed down on the back porch. Uh, it, the robber bees did show up, so I blocked them up, and they're not going to be getting in there, so at least they can't get in there. So I'll, I'll leave them blocked up. Uh, probably I'm gonna leave that thing blocked up for at least another day, but our queen she'll be staying in there for for two more days after that She'll be in there for three days. So let me go show you our other swarm And that is just right out in the field right here And this one really has calmed down a lot out here and what I'm gonna do as soon as I finish this, I'm going to move this box because I don't want them to stay right there. I'm going to just move it to one of our stands over there. So there you go. Look at that. Those bees have calmed down tremendously. Wow. That was a heck of a day today. No way did I, I think that when the day started, it would turn into this. I really thought this, this day would be a you know, an hour, hour and a half job and the day would be over. It's 2, like 2.15 right now. <laughs> and I'm finally putting these bees to, to peace. So, very, very uh, happy that it turned out this way. It's always, the bees are always throwing me curveballs and I, I was really blessed today to be able to catch both the swans, both the queens in that, and then make two splits of it. So. Thank you, Jesus, for that. It really was fun. And, and for me, it's always, I mean, my heart must have been racing about 10 or 15 times today. So it really was good. Now, before I leave, I want to make one more comment 
uh, about an upcoming event. I'm going to need my phone to help me do that. And on July 14th and 15th of this year in Quincy, Illinois, I'll be one of the many speakers at the Mississippi Valley Beekeepers Association, um, the ISBA Summer Conference. Uh, I mean, they, they've got a great lineup of speakers. Off the top of my head, Cayman Reynolds, Corey Stevens, Natalie Summer, uh, 628 Dirt Rooster, myself, and probably about 10 other people. A, a, a really great list of, of, of names and lots of breakout sessions, two days of, of bee, bee stuff and vendors and all kind of fun. So I hope to see you all up there as well. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and, and hope to get to meet as many of you all up there as I can. So that's about all I got for you in this one. I've got a bee buzzing around the camera. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless. It's Mr. Red and I'm out of here until the next video.